Well, Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi. Hey, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> It's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that Chuck anymore. Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Welcome to Woodtick. No treadzer hunting zone. This may be a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to how rich I'll be when I find Big Whoop. I think I'm pretty well prepared financially for now. I should be set for the whole trip with this. This should be plenty of money to charter a ship. I intend to. <laughs> Look at all this. I've got enough to buy my own ship in five different currencies. I'll be traveling first class on this treasure hunt. Sure took a long time to save all this. No more part-time circus work for me. Of course, this is only a fraction of what I'll have after I find Big Whoop. I intend to. I intend to. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Who's gonna make me, Shorty? Tough guy, huh? <laughs> Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want! There's no police on Scab Island! Okay, put me down now and I won't have to hurt you! <laughs> That's a good one! Maybe I won't kill you right now. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? 
It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regular spoot. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there! Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Walk over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. It's shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Hello. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh-huh. Hey, where's my monocle? that alone. Do you think you could let me have this bucket? No. Please? No. Pretty please? No. Pretty, pretty please? No. Pretty please with sugar on top? No. Pretty please with sugar and a cherry? No. Pretty please with sugar, nuts, and a cherry? No. Pretty please with sugar, nuts, a cherry, and chocolate sprinkles? No. I really need it. No. I really, really need it. No. I really desperately need it. No. It's a matter of life and death. No. If you don't give it to me, I'll never speak to you again. No. I'll be your best friend. No. I'll be your best friend forever and ever. No. Oh, come on. Be a pal. Oh, all right.
Yeah. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No. I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. It says Woody. That's me. Hey, don't touch that. It's not a toy. Hey, don't touch those. I need all of them. <clears throat> yeah? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Welcome to Woodtip. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. This is creepy feeling. I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine, all mine. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy.
I'll just take a little. Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. Spider lungs. Skink toes. Wart remover. They're unlabeled. They're unlabeled. It looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. It looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. Bat wax. Bat wax. Spider lungs. Spider lungs. Tender touch pirate powder. Prevents stump chafing and eye patch rash. Tender Touch Pirate Powder. They're unlabeled. O de Mojo. The mystical aroma of voodoo captured in a delightful potpourri. Skink Toes. Cat Dewormer. Ash to Life. The Uncremating Cream. Hey, that's just a display model. Guy Brush Threepwood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Uh, about that jar I was looking at? That's one of my most powerful potions. Brings the dead back to life. I'll take it. There are some complications. It only works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. Plus, you need to bring me a sample of the subject's ashes before I can mix you up a batch. Boy, voodoo's complicated. Rules are rules. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me... ...some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Do you have any of those ingredients with you? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Have you brought me any other ingredients? Nope. Could you tell me what they were again? Just like the list says. Something from his body, something from his clothes, some of his bodily fluids. That's all. Now go. I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. That doesn't seem to work.
and it's securely fastened. How'd old Pegbiter get loose? I'd better go catch him before he catches somebody else. Cheese squigglies, one of my favorites. It doesn't seem to stay close. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. It's empty. It's already open. It's stuck open. Nice. Hmm. Only one guest. I'd have to have a room first. There's strange little white bugs all over it. <laughs> I don't think I should do that. I don't think I should do that. I don't think I should do that. You're making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out. Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three years. I said, I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. I think it's yo-yo string. Nice. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. It's empty. Messy, messy, messy. They look pretty old. Ah. Fuck you. Ah, 
I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Oh, where was it? Ah, here it comes. <laughs> Not my size. Thing this is a cold soup. Uh, oh, yuck. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? How gauche. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my God! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Out! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang! Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? I don't know. How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. First week paid in advance. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. brought me any more ingredients? I have his toupee. Hmm, not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. 
A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. Hey, what are you doing in here? Oh! Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad! What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. Why I carry this? I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make... Oh! Oh! Ah! Yeah! Oh! That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that... Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy. It is alive! We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years! Now we can bring him back to life! Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again! Whoops. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's gonna be looking for me. Yes. He's gonna try to kill me! Undoubtedly. What can I do? You're already doing all that you can. What's that? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. 
Big Whoop, Unclaimed Bonanza, or Myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook, Young Lindy, the cabin boy, Mr. Rogers, the first mate, and Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! Wonder if there's any relation. They bury their treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Rap Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leading at the time. Stan's Cozy Crypts, a place to spend eternity, not a fortune. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. Hello? Hello, man. My name's Captain Dredd. What can I do for ya? Natty Dreads. Thanks, man. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck jar. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is, the Jew don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies let Chuck's Fortress. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threepwood. It's Threepwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. 
Aye. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big Wolf. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around. Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island, a fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy-to-read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. It says, beware of parrot. I'd like to buy this sign. Sorry, that sign's not for sale. Oh. Well, uh, I guess I could sell it. That'll be five pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this mirror. And I'd like to sell it to you. That'll be 15 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this well-polished old saw. And I'd like to sell it to you. That'll be 25 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this peg leg. Yeah, I like that too, but it's not for sale. That's part of the Big Whoop treasure map. I don't know a lot about the piece, but there's supposed to be a book in the library that tells all about the whole map. I'd like to buy this map piece. That's six million pieces of eight. Do you want it? Well, I can't afford that much. Too bad. Check it out. See the world. Hi, my name's Guybrush. I'm Captain Kate Capsize. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. I'm searching for the treasure of Big Whoop. Yeah? When I was the first mate on the Limping Limpet, we went in search of Big Whoop. We'd heard it was buried under a place called Blinky Island. Never found the island or the treasure. The captain eventually died of boredom while we were crossing the Sea of Beige Flotsam. I hope your luck is better. I just remembered I'm late for a party. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. Cruises! Sightseeing! Where do you want to go?
I'm good. It says, out on house call. Please come again. You're supposed to be cooking. I had to go to the bathroom. Don't worry, I washed my hands. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo the Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well, I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. In that case, I'll take my business elsewhere. Sorry, kid. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go, man? Da, 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 da. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Smith. You must have me confused with someone else. Smith, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification? Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Nice try, Guybrush. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. All right. I'll come with you. Coming. Well, Mr. Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. Thank you. Your home is lovely. You have an eye for the finer things, Mr. Threepwood. I admit my tastes run to the expensive. How do you manage to afford it? Yes, I've had to indulge in a bit of creative financing. But I've just made a deal that will keep the bill collectors out of here for a long time. Really? What's that? I'm selling you, Mr. Threepwood, to the ghost pirate LeChuck. LeChuck's dead. I killed him. Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagine. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? 
Oh no. The Chuck's back! I beg your pardon, did you say something? Could I hide out here for a while? You can hide out until the Chuck comes to pick you up. You see, he's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh. I guess that bounty would buy a lot of bacon grease and pure fat, huh? Why, you... You can figure it out while you wait in jail for LeChuck to pick you up. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Come on, you little weasel. I'll be back. Come on. Don't try to escape or anything. Walt will chew you to bits. Okay, Walt. I'll be back to relieve you at 11. It's a stick. I can't reach it. Watch me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. Doggy doggy. Here, boy. The door is locked. Mr. Willy Gorilla. There's a banana in here and an organ. Hey, that <laughs> tickles. It's empty. There's a model lighthouse lens inside. Looks powerful. Excuse me. Shh. This is a library. Whisper. Now, what is it? I'm looking for a book. Do you have a library card? Nope. Well, would you like one? Yes. What do I have to do? I'll need some personal information. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Address? 221B Baker Street. Age? Um, 21. Occupation? Pirate. Vices? Murder, arson, thievery, that sort of thing. I see. All right. Your library card will be mailed to the address you gave me. In the meantime, take this temporary card. You may check books out of the library, but only four at a time. That's about as many titles as I can remember anyhow. What book are you looking for? Well, I don't know. What have you got? You expect me to name every book in the library? Use the card catalog like a normal person.
I think I'll try a different drawer. I think I'll try a different drawer. No more bets? Okay, here we go. Thirteen black. All right! You're a winner, sir. Which prize would you like? What you got left? We have money, an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, and a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. I'd like the money. The money it is. Big prizes for just one piece of eight. Give me the next number. Please give me the password. If this is one, what's this? Three. Right. The winning number will be 17 black. Thanks. I'll knock. What do you want, kid? What's the next winning number gonna be? Please give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is three, what's this? Four? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is four, what's this? Two? That's two. One more. If this is two, what's this? One? Okay, you must be a member of the Gamblers Club. But I don't recognize you. No, I was transferred here today. New orders. What? Um, sorry. I had a flashback there. What I meant was that I just joined today. Oh, okay. The winning number will be 12 black. No more bets? Okay, here we go. Seventeen black. All right! You win again! Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. I think that's enough for me today. Okay, Ralphie. See you tomorrow. Bless your bets, please. Hello. How you doing? I'd like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. One piece of eight for one game. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay, kid. Which number you want? I'd like 12 black. Okay. Here we go. Twelve 
Black. You're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight, or you can have the invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Well, which will it be? I'd love to have the invitation. He wants the invitation. Congratulations. Thanks. Big prizes for just one piece of eight. What do you want, kid? What's the next winning number going to be? Voice, give me the password. If this is one, what's this? Four? Right. The winning number will be six red. Bless your bets, please. I'd like to place another bet. Here's one piece of eight. Okay, kid. Which number you want? I'd like six red. Okay. Here we go. Six red. You're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight, or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Well, which will it be? I really want the circus ticket. He wants a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Congratulations! Thanks! Excuse me, aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Kate Capsize. You must have me confused with someone else. Kate, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification. My ID is on my ship. Wait here while I go and get it. Nice try, Guybrush. I don't know how you got out of the jail, but I'm taking you back in. You can't go up there. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in jail? You must be confusing me with my cousin, Guybrush. Oh, I see. The resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> Can I go upstairs? I'm sorry, but the governor doesn't want to be disturbed while he's eating. I think there's a fire in the kitchen. Really? I'd better check it out. The cover says, famous pirate quotations. No, you can't have a bite. It's mine. Get your own, mother. I think I almost woke him up.
when thinking the brain resembles a Swiss cheese. I don't think I could move him. I don't think I could move him. Where do you want to go? What you want to go, ma? Um. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, you have a costume on reserve. Let's see. Your costume is right over here. Walk this way, please. Well, here it is. You'll surely be the talk of the party in this. Well, have fun and enjoy your costume. Howdy! Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffins. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck! Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Most of it used only for a few hours. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. Well, speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. I'm looking for a good used coffin. Amazing! When you first walked in here, I said, Now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal right behind you. Let's go take a look-see. Now this here is the Cadillac of coffins. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Here, let me get in and show you. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. Why should a man's coffin be any smaller than his bunk at sea? Can I show you anything else? Could you show me that coffin again? Okie dokie. I could spend a lot of time in a coffin like this. Look at how freely I can wiggle my toes. I almost forgot. I wanted you to have this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying, I care. Now, where were we? Oh yeah! This thing's bigger than my kitchen! Sure, sure, try out the lid operation. It's just as roomy closed. Can I show you anything else? Could you show me that coffin again? Sure! You know, a person's coffin should reflect their station in life. But it's open. It's just as roomy closed. Here, let me show you. See? If you're thinking about one of those cheaper models, first ask yourself, isn't my loved one worth the best? I hear you knocking up there. That's solid oak you're hearing. Yes, it sure is nice in here. Hey, I think the lid's stuck. Um, excuse me, friend. Could you see if the clasp is closed on this thing? Uh, be there in a minute. Hello? Is anybody out there? Are you still out there? Hello?
Okay, now, who's gonna be next? It's a great day for spitting. I love any game that has a spitting contest. Look at that picture of the spit, of the, uh, the little banner with the spitting mouth. Ugh. What a gross game. Even a child can do it. Who came up with the spitting contest? They do it very well. I no one wants to own the spinning contest. <laughs> no one's like, that's my I, baby. I think you programmed it, though. No. Nope. Well, yeah, I did. I did the programming of it. Programming. Because it was really like challenging, the, and we always gave me the... I, I, I like the, uh, the the methods that you used to win, though, which is cheat, cheat, yeah. and cheat again, basically. It's <laughs> your standard it's a, it's guy rush lesson. adventure game. It's a, our, our, our games are, are, are forming the morals of, of the youth of today. Well, it's a game about pirates. It's a, it's a, Social you can't moment. teach positive moral values in a game about pirates. <laughs> pirates, what do they do? They steal? They pillage. pillage. We're just pillage. lucky we, they left out that third one. Where was it just yes? You know, I did all those adventure games for kids at Humongous Entertainment. We really had to come up with very contrived reasons why you weren't just stealing everything that you had to pick up. I remember having to write a lot of lines for Pajama Sam about that, and my take was always, oh, I found this, I better try and find the owner and give it back. You know, there's always sort of carrying around all these things that we're going to go back to somebody. Yeah. Or I don't if the person was there, he would always ask to this. borrow it. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. Will you accept a temporary library card? Let me see it. Is Guy Brush a French name? No, actually, it's a fictional name. Oh, all right. Can I get you that drink now? Yeah, I could really use it. Name your poison. What do you got? Well, we have some specialty drinks here at the Bloody Lip, like... Yellowbeard's Baby, Bloody Stump, and Blue Whale. I'll have Yellowbeard's Baby. Well, you can try, but I don't think nature's on your side. <laughs> Just give me the drink, please. Hey, I have to crack jokes. It's a union thing. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. And here's a complimentary crazy straw. We give them to all new customers of the Bloody Lip. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. Give me a bloody stump. I can't. Chainsaw's out of gas. Ha 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 ha. Hilarious. Yeah, I cracked myself up. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. Mix me up a blue whale. Sorry, blender's not big enough. <laughs> Oh, but seriously, that'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There she blows! Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Bartender, give me a drink. Okay, but give me back your empties. I'm running out of glasses. Sure. Now. Name your poison. Mix me up a blue whale. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There she blows! Bartender, get me a drink. Name your poison. I'll have Yellowbeard's baby. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Bartender, get me a drink. 
Okay, but give me back your empties. I'm running out of glasses. Sure. Now, name your poison. Give me a bloody stump. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. It's inscribed with a quote, kiss me, I've got scurvy. Violets are blue, roses are red, we're coming aboard, prepare to eat lead. Darn! Happiness is a warm manatee. Mouthwash? We don't need no stinking mouthwash. Ah! That's your worst problem. Where do you want to go? Big Whoop, unclaimed bonanza or myth? It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. And Captain Marley. They buried their treasure along with plenty of booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. Big Whoop, unclaimed bonanza or myth? It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook. Rap Scallion. Famous pirate quotations. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. I think I'll try a different drawer. Scab Island history. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. Uh, pardon me, miss. What do you want this time? I'm looking for a book. What book are you looking for? Could you find Scab Island history? Okay, here you go. Anything else? Could you find famous pirate quotations? That book has been checked out by Governor Fat. Anything else? I won't be needing any more books just now. Remember, silence is golden. There's some near grog in here. I'll figure a way out of here. Who is this peep wind character anyway?
where do you want to go? Where do you want to go, ma? Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? Is there something I can help you with? Uh, nice costume. Almost scared me to death. Thanks. Where's your costume for the governor's party? I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. I have my costume right here. Better put it on. Well, if you insist, but you'll have to try to restrain yourself. No, no, not here. Go in the bushes or something. Jeez. Oh, that is nice. And the boots are a nice touch. Do you have an invitation? I've got my invitation right here. Well, what do you know? You do have an invitation. Okay. I guess you can go through. Have fun! It's a beat-up metal trash can. Hey! What is all the racket? Don't mess with the governor's cans! Who do you think you are? You better just get out of here! Hey! Come back here! I'm not done yet! No good punk! If it's not raccoons, it's teenage vandals. Oh, there you are. Anyway, that I will say. You heard me? Get lost, transient hooligan. Put up 20 pounds in this stupid costume. No kidding. Why did he put up with this stuff? Some party, huh? I don't know. Just to prove we're fun loving guys. Check out the spitting contest? Yeah. Got second place. Not bad. Yeah, well, you know, the wind was with me. Some party, eh? Yep. Try the fish? Thanks. Hi, my name's Guybrush. More subtle than both. Yeah, thanks. Not your usual, larger than life, Mardi Gras head. Nope. Probably saved a lot of materials, huh? <laughs> I'm sure I don't know. But not that paper mache is very expensive. Do you mean papier mache? Yeah, whatever. No, I don't imagine that it's very expensive at all. Still, you must have saved the bottle, kid. <laughs> I never scrimp when it comes to the holidays. To Elaine Marley! Don't I know you from somewhere? To Elaine! To this great party! To the party! Where'd you get that drink? Yeah, I thought there'd be some here. 
And again, these costumes, <laughs> who can tell? That's true. There might be some babes here. Hmm, well, what can we do about it? Well, we just ask. Ask? What are you, nuts? Yeah, I guess you're right. <sighs> they seem to be enjoying the party. Mardi Gras sure is tough on us swingers. Well, what's the matter, boy? Smell something? Uh, nice doggy. <laughs> what's the matter there, Gabrush? I was talking to the dog. Who are you? She named her dog Guybrush? Yeah, I don't get it either. It's not much of a name if you ask me. It says it's because he's dumb and helpless and keeps getting in the way. Sure can sniff out the governor's possessions. Maybe you should empty your pockets. Try and catch me, old man. <laughs> Oh, uh, look out for that rake. Governor, I caught one of your party guests making off with your grandfather's map. Another would-be treasure hunter, eh? Bring him in. In here, Guybrush. Guybrush? Guybrush Threepfoot? The one and only Sugar Bear. Of all the parties <laughs> in all the houses on all the islands of the Caribbean, he had to crash mine. It's destiny, honey cakes. Don't talk to me. Snugglepuss. Get lost. Punky doodle. I'm warning you. Pooper duper. Maybe I should go rake the back 40. Look at us. Together again. Boy, we haven't been like this since, well... Since I quit my job and moved away without leaving a forwarding address? Was that what happened? Gee, I, th I thought... Guybrush, can't you take a hint? We were a mistake. I thought we had an agreement. Can't you see how my heart has suffered? Oh, really? If I can't be with you, I don't want to live. You're getting warmer. If you won't take me back, just kill me now. Well, that's not the most stupid thing you've ever said. I'll win you back, if it's the last thing I do. Oh, Guybrush, I know I shouldn't have anything to do with you. But there's something about your weakness and ineptitude that I find infectious. Does that mean you're going to let me have the map? The map. Is that what this is all about? I should have known better. If the map's all you care about... You'd better go out and get it. I'd like to, but this dress just doesn't have the pockets for it. Hey! Maybe while I'm in the woods, I'll ditch this stupid costume. You're okay, dog. You're coming with me. Hear the one about the polar bear with the hair.
she's gone. I guess I really made her mad this time. Well, maybe she won't miss this old thing. Nothing back here. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Man, she has shoulder pads and everything. It's impolite to stare at a woman's chest. You know, I heard some guys talking about Marley's bust. This must be it. I don't want to break anything. Elaine would kill me. Uh, how's work? Like the music? you want to go? <sighs> Where'd you want to go, Mom? Caught anything yet? Are you kidding? I reached my limit hours ago. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty fisherman. Oh, you are, are you? I'm the best fisherman in these isles. Oh, I beg to differ with you. I'm the best fisherman in these isles. You? Why, you couldn't catch cold in a blizzard. The pike I catch make Pike's Peak look like an anthill. That's why I'm known as the Blowfish. You mean the blow hard. Listen, bait for brains. I'm the best around, and that is that. Not if your line is as weak as your lines. Perhaps you'd like to make a small wager, eh, Mr. Fisherman? Sure, I'll take your bet. Let me tell you what I had in mind first. If you can catch a bigger fish than I can, I'll give you my prize-winning fishing pole. Kiss your pole goodbye. If I catch a bigger fish than you, you have to eat it. Raw. Where'd you get that other pipe? Ahem. <clears throat> what? Like I say, you'd have to eat a raw fish. Plain, cold, and with the head still on it. What do you say? Alright, it's a bet. Great! I am really looking forward to making you eat my catch. What with all the sewage from Governor Fat's mansion, the fish are usually pretty gross. I never eat mine. Just sell them to restaurants. Best get fishing, buddy. <laughs> Um, think I'll drop a line right here. Plunk? Wow, I've got a nibble already. Holy cow, he's a monster! I've got him! <laughs> what a battle! Wow! This is the biggest... The... Uh, well, it, it's almost as big as the Leviathan I just hauled in. Really? Where is this Leviathan? Uh, uh... I think you're lying. Yeah, you're right. It was just a fish story. I guess you win. Here, take the pole. Where'd you want to go?
thing. How rustic. How rustic. Something very strange is going on here. Do not attempt to adjust your set. Dad? Mom! What are you two doing here? We came looking for you. Where have you been? You came looking for me? But I thought you abandoned me. Why would we do that? We are such loving parents. Yes, we are. So what do you two want? We have some information for you, son. Really? Great! What is it? Well, we're going to give it to you in the form of a song. Oh, okay. again. Ooh! <laughs> well, Chuck, but I killed you! You didn't kill me, you little moron! I was already a ghost when you met me! You just destroyed my spiritual essence, a favor that I will now return. Wow! What a dream! Where do you want to go? Excuse me, could you take a look at this? Hmm, looks like a massive fracture. You're gonna be using this? I better reinforce it for you. Here you go, boy. Steel shank, alloy splints, better than new.
is that thing? I swear I put it right here. Hmm. Only one guest. You're supposed to leave these things open. I don't want to steal his bell. I feel bad enough setting his alligator free. Where do you want to go? Looks like a plank stuck in a hole in a tree. Hmm, I think I get the idea. It's crazy. But it just might work. Hello? Little guy brush. Good boy! Run along home now. Now that's a good dog. Alright! I got the first map piece! This isn't Monkey Island 1. Nice! Nice! There's nothing interesting in there. There's nothing interesting in there.